hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to make this bikini bottom it has elastic strands within the bikini bottom so that we can have a stretchy look and a stretchy feel for our bikini bottom um i would have wished to have the same exact color of the elastic strand as the color that i used but unfortunately i didn't get that so I had to just use what was available and it creates a full coverage both at the front and at the back and this could be a very good bikini bottom for the top that we made last week. This is one of the colors that we used and it could be a very good match. So if you haven't yet tried out the top tutorial I'll be leaving the link on the screen so that you can go and give it a try and see how it comes out. So the materials that you'll need for this project are a measuring tape, yarn of any choice. I'll be using two strands of acrylic yarn, which is fingering weight yarn, which is called Robin. And I'll be using two strands for the bikini bottom. And then I'll also need a darning needle to weave in the ends and a pair of scissors. The hook that I'll be using is a 2.75 millimeter fascia hook. And then I'll also need an elastic strand to go around the edges of my bikini bottom to make it stretchy. So let's begin. So the main measurement that you need for this bikini bottom is uh, your hip measurement because at the end of the day this bikini bottom has to be able to pass through your hips in order to even be worn. So go ahead and get your hip measurement and note it down. We shall need it later on. So we are going to start off with a slip knot and we are going to make a chain of 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So after your 12 chains, you're going to go into the third chain from the hook. So one, two, and into the third, we are going to place one double crochet, one double crochet into the next chain, and continue to double crochet into each and every chain. This applies to all sizes because we don't want that unsightly bulge in between the legs. So whatever size you are, just go ahead and do this because we shall cater for the extra thickness when we are working on the edging of the bikini bottom. So I'm working my very last double crochet into the last chain and you should have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 because the chain two counts as a stitch. So um, next we are going to chain 3 and that counts as a double crochet and then you're going to go into the next stitch with a double crochet double crochet into the next stitch and continue to double crochet into each and every stitch for a total of 11 double crochets when you're counting the chain three as a stitch so row two should have the same exact number of stitches as row one Alright, so we are done with this. This is how row 2 looks like. Now we are going to row 3. You're going to chain 3, turn your work, and you're going to double crochet into each and every stitch across. So we are going to repeat row 2 for a total of 6 rows all together. This is row 3, so we are going to continue that until we have a total of 6 rows. So make sure all your rows have the same exact number of stitches.
so we finished our sixth row and this is how your work should look like now we are going to start creating the coverage for the front side of our bikini bottom and to do that you're going to chain three turn your work and into that same exact stitch here we're going to place another double crochet so that means the very first stitch has gotten two double crochets and then you're going to continue to place one double crochet into each of the next stitches until you reach the second last stitch so this is my second last stitch and the last stitch which is the chain three you're going to go on top of the chain three and place a total of two double crochets so that means we have increased at the beginning of our row and at the end of the row and therefore our project is going to start widening and creating that v-shape to create the coverage for our front side of the bikini bottom so you're going to chain three and you're going to repeat row seven so go into the very first stitch which is this one that's attached to the chain three and place a double crochet and then one double crochet into each of the next stitches until the second last stitch So this is my second last stitch and into the last stitch which is the chain three you're going to go on top of the chain three and place two double crochets like that so if you can notice our bikini bottom has already started shaping and we are going to repeat this for a total number of rows that you need for your size i'll be leaving all the sizes on the screen so go ahead and make a total number of those increased rows so so far i have three and since i'm demonstrating for a size medium i want a total of 13 rows all together so that i can uh, have for size medium so just look at the screen and know how many increased rows that you have to make for your bikini bottom and i'll be back to show you what to do next after that So I'm working on my very last row of uh, the front coverage of our bikini bottom and this is row 13 so just make sure you have the number of rows that you need for your size and this is still an increased row that starts with uh, two double crochets at the beginning and two double crochets at the end. So I'm placing two double crochets at the end of my row into the very last stitch and this is how my work looks like. Uh, ignore this thread. This is how the work looks like right from the non-increase rows until the increase rows. So I have a total of 13 rows all together. After your 13th row you're going to leave a very long strand of yarn before we start working on the back coverage of our bikini bottom just leave just enough yarn to help us with the joining onto the back uh, extension of our bikini bottom just just leave a long strand and then you cut your yarn here now uh, we're going to work on the back coverage of our bikini bottom Okay, so you're going to turn your work to the back side, which is this side that's still unworked, and you're going to attach your yarn, make a slip knot, and attach it into the very first stitch. And you're going to chain three, 
and we are going to start increasing straight away so into the same stitch you're going to place a double crochet one double crochet into the next stitch and continue to place only one double crochet into each and every stitch until the second last uh, stitch so I'm on the second last stitch and into the last you're going to place two double crochets like that and you're going to continue to do this until you have the number of rows that you need for your size check the screen in order to know uh, how many rows to do for your particular size so we're just going ahead to repeat the increase rows just like we did for the front part until we get the number of rows that we need for the back side of the bikini bottom so I did a total of 23 rows for mine since I'm demonstrating for a size medium so I have my 23 rows so you're going to leave a very long strand that we are going to be using to attach onto the front uh, side of our bikini bottom Alright, so after working on both sides, you have something that looks like this. You have the middle section, then the front coverage, and then the back coverage. So uh, we have this chain that we left behind here. It's still attached to our ball of yarn. And then we also have this chain that's attached to the front uh, coverage of our bikini bottom. So... The next thing that you're going to do is to get your measuring tape and then you measure the top of the front panel. Make sure you stretch out this front panel to see the full length. It's about 10 inches when fully stretched. Then you also measure the back panel and stretch it out this is about 17 inches so 17 inches plus 10 inches which is uh, 27 inches in total and we want um, a total of 40 inches so 40 inches minus the 27 which is 13 inches divide by 2 which is 7.5 so you're going to make a chain of 7.5 on both ends so that we can have a total of 40 inches all the way around the waistline so I'm going to attach I'm going to just put my hook through here we want a chain of 7.5 so So I have a total of 7.5 inches, you can see that, and then you're going to attach onto the back panel with a slip stitch. So I've done a total of 30 chains all together here. So I'm going to just put my hook through this side and do the same exact thing just make a chain of 30 or a chain of 7.5 inches or whatever number that you need to get to your um, hip measurement so one two three four So I have my 30 inches, sorry, 30 chains, 
and then I'm going to slip stitch into the very first stitch of the front panel and at this point you have your bikini bottom in rounds so after this I'm going to chain one and then cut my yarn and I'll just continue to work with the yarn that I left on this side so this will be dealt with later on but this is what we have for now so we're going to start working in rounds going all the way around the top of the bikini bottom so just get your measuring tape and make sure when you stretch from this point to the other point it's half of your hip measurement so we have our zero here we are making sure that this can stretch to 20 inches so that it can pass through our hips and fit us perfectly well so you can see that we are at 20 from 0 to 20 so after that you're going to get this loop that you left behind at the back and chain 3 now we are going to go all the way around our bikini bottom with one double crochet into each and every stitch and into each and every chain all the way around until we come back to this point just make sure you place one single one double crochet into each and every stitch all the way around until we get back to the beginning of our round So I've made it all the way around placing one double crochet into each and every stitch and each and every chain. So after your last double crochet you're going to slip stitch into the very first chain 3 on top of the very first chain 3 that you made for the round and this is how your work will look like. So now we're going to do something different, we're going to start attaching our elastic strand into the edges of the bikini bottom so that we don't have loose ends we don't have a loose bikini bottom on the edges so just go ahead and get rid of all the strands lying around the one that we had here get rid of that then uh, have a neat bikini bottom like this now you're going to get your elastic strand mine is white unfortunately but we we're going to work around it so that we can hide this white into the red so you're going to measure this don't stretch it just have it flat on the table and just place your elast elastic strand without stretching it just have it run across and then multiply it by two because we also have the back side of the bikini bottom multiply it by two so we have this that can go around the bikini bottom now get this side this side that's still attached to the to where the elastic strand is coming from and reduce it by um, five inches so get your measuring tape and reduce that elastic strand by 5 inches. This is to give it a stretch so that it has a better fitting for our bottom. So just reduce it by 5 inches so we are somewhere here. And then you're going to cut your yarn at that point. Cut the elastic strand, sorry. So this is what we are going to be working with for the waist area. So this is what it is and you can see it's smaller than the actual waistband when uh, you look at the crochet piece. So this is going to bring in our bikini bottom just a bit. So remember we considered hip measurement while working on this part. That means once it passes by the hip section it's going to be loose around the waist area as we go up so I'm going to make a very tiny knot to 
also have the elastic strand running rounds. Okay, something like this. And your bikini bottom will stretch up to this side. We'll be able to stretch up to that side, but for now, this is what we want. And I'm going to cut off this excess. So this is what we have. So you're going to get your yarn. Sorry, just go back to where your yarn is still attached onto the bikini bottom. And you're going to chain one. And then make sure the knot will be placed at the back of your bikini bottom. So I'm placing my elastic strand like this so that the knot is at the back. So you're going to go into each and every stitch with one single crochet but working around the elastic strand. So you can see that. Just hold on to the elastic strand and make one row of single crochets all the way around while working around the elastic strand into the top of the bikini bottom So the white is going to just dissolve into the red and we won't even be able to see it. So I've made it all the way around and I'm going to place one slip stitch into the very first single crochet that I made. So you'll have your bikini bottom fold over like this but uh, it's because it's gathering for a better fitting for your uh, bikini bottom. So after this we are going to work a row of shells around our bikini bottom around the top of the bikini bottom so you're going to chain one and single crochet into the same exact stitch and then skip two stitches and double crochet five times into the third stitch So after your five double crochets, skip two stitches and single crochet into the next. So that's going to create our very first shell and you're going to go all the way around doing the same exact thing. So skip two stitches, five double crochets into the next uh, single crochet. And then skip two stitches and single crochet into the next. So go around your bikini bottom, creating these shells all the way around.
Okay, so I've made it all the way around, placing shells around the top of the bikini bottom. This is what we have. And now, after your last shell, after placing a single crochet, you're going to slip stitch into the very first sing single crochet that you made and chain one. Then you're going to cut your yarn. So this is how the bikini bottom will look like. So we're going to get rid of this strand. Since I'm using two strands, I just make a knot and then cut. So this is how the top of the bikini bottom will look like. So we are going to repeat the same exact process for the uh, the edging around the legs. So I've already measured my elastic strands. I hope you still remember how to do it. You just get the measurement around and then reduce it by five inches so that it can have a stretch to get uh, an accurate fitting. So this is optional, this is totally optional, but it helps you get a better fitting for your bikini bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and make this on this side and on this side, just like we did up here. And then I'll be back to show you how my bikini bottom turned out. So I'll start attaching from this side strap just somewhere around here. And I'll be placing two single crochets into each and every row on the body of the bikini bottom. So just go all the way around placing two single crochets into each and every row but working around the elastic strand. So when you make it all the way up, I've moved all the way from here around and then when you get to the upper section, you're just going to place one single crochet into each and every stitch. Still while well working around the elastic strand.
so we are coming to the end as you can see and I'm placing my last single crochet and then I'll slip stitch into the first single crochet of the round and then after that chain one and cut your yarn pull through and then you're going to get rid of this strand by tying a knot at the back or using a dunning needle to weave in the ends so this is how your bikini bottom will look like on one side so you can see we've worked one side and then we have to go ahead and do the same exact thing for the other side for this other side that's still pending and we're going to have something that's elastic and fits very well so get your second elastic strand for the side of the leg make sure it's the same exact size as the one you worked with on this side and then you make a knot so that we start working in rounds So let me go ahead and work on this side and I'll come back and show you how my work will look like. So at the end of your second leg, this is how your piece will look like. If you feel like you don't like this view, you can go ahead and make another row of single crochets while hiding in the white, but I'm not going to because it won't be showing at the right side of the work. You can see it's very minimal. So this is on the wrong side of the work. That's where we are seeing too much white passing through the red. And the other thing I wanted to point out is you can still go ahead and make shells around the leg holes, but I'm not going to do that because I already have the thickness that I want in between the legs. I don't want this to become any bigger than it already is. And that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in my next video. Bye.